You know, I don't really appreciate you messing with my lady. Your lady? Blonde doctor and I are going to end up together. And I'm talking the whole shebang. House in the burbs, Volvo in the driveway, dog fighting ring in the basement. I guess it wouldn't be the first time the janitor got the girl. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it would. You want to place a wager? I do, but here I really have no need for a cracked thermos and two pounds of keys. How about my van for your Porsche? I suppose when I win, I could destroy your vehicle and make your watch, couldn't I? Bet. Bet. Gentlemen, Crazy Eyes Margo, I've called the Brain Trust together for one reason. I have to find a way to make Blonde Doctor mine. Burn down our apartment. I have an idea, but we're gonna need a tugboat. Tugboat's an arson. That's all I ever get from you guys. We call this a Brain Trust, and I'm the one with all the solutions. I saved you from that eagle, Randall. I saved your job, Troy. And Margo, I found your birth mother. She was a tree person, remember? No, there's no shame in that. I'm sorry, guys, but I've had enough. I'm afraid I have to find a new brain trust. Gentlemen, I don't want to appear selfish, but stop what you're doing and focus on me. You paged me? Yeah, look, I made a bet with Dr. Cox that you would go out with me. And if I win, I get his Porsche. And the success of those plans can take even the most hardened men by surprise. Do you mind? I am trying to have a private moment with my man. I gotta tell you there, Supercuts. I've seen a lot of crazy things at this hospital. I've seen smokers live to be 100, and I've seen triathletes come in here and drop dead at 20. I've seen unbridled joy, and I've seen debilitating pain. But I never thought I'd see a jumpsuit-wearing, van-driving, vomit-cleaning, no-good, confounded, Frankenstein-looking buffoon like you get a girl like Barbie. I'm gonna paint your Porsche mint green so it looks like my van's baby. <laughs> well, if it isn't marginally attractive and the beast, how did the Porsche drive? Wait, why did we just go out if you already have his car? Oh, my goodness. He actually tricked you into a date. This is so very delicious and filling. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat the rest of the evening. In fact, I honestly don't think I can have one more bite of your painful humiliation. I'm... I find I'm just a little stuffed. We'll take the keys to go, though. Yippee! See, that's the thing about trying to have your cake and eating it, too. If you make the slightest mistake, you usually wind up getting neither. We can fix that. You guys are out. You guys are back in. Where's Margo? She's at a ludicrous concert with her birth mom. I lose my van to him, and I lose Margot to gangster rap. Bad day. 